Now I know what some of you are thinking. You want to use Azure Policy to police your environment, like only allowing things to be built in the approved regions, or to block the creation of something that doesn't use all of your required tags, like the CM resource parent that I showed off in this video recently. And this can be really good if it's done right. Here in the Azure Policy Center, click over there and look at your definitions. Search here for require a tag, and you'll have two different ways that you can apply this policy, at the resource group level or at the resources level. Next, you need to choose if you want to enforce a specific tag name or a tag and its value. Now, there really isn't a right or wrong way to do it, but you need to take a minute and think about the tag or the tag and its value that you want to enforce. So the application I'll be showing off in today's video is Azure Virtual Desktop, but this is gonna work for any app you have. And so to keep things more interesting, we're gonna use the most complex scenario, and that's requiring a specific tag and its value on resources. So click on that and then click the assign button at the top. First, we need a scope, which means that the best way to implement this is at the resource group level which leads us to our first problem. Now, many of you build new resource groups when you're building your virtual desktop host pools. So pause the video here, go create your resource group, and then come right back. Then you can select your subscription and the resource group you wanna build in. Step two is exclusions. Now, since the host pool would be your most likely parent resource and you can't parent a resource to itself, you'd wanna make an exclusion for the host pool, which is the second problem. Because if your purpose for doing this is for new pools, you can't exclude the host pool because it doesn't exist yet. Or you need a new parent resource. And the most likely candidate would probably be your resource group. Now you're probably thinking that parenting a resource group seems like a waste when you could already look at the resource group's total cost in Azure Cost Management. And all I can say there is you really need to watch this video to see how much you're missing. But don't worry, I'll link to it at the end, trust me. Now, for those of you who have already built your host pools, you can add that as an exclusion here. Just hit the drop down, find your particular resource, check the box, and then click the Add to Selected Scopes button and click Save at the bottom. Add a description just to keep track of things, and then make sure that Policy Enforcement is set to Enabled, and then click Next. In the parameters section, enter cm-resource-parent as the tag name, and what's the value going to be? Well, this is where the parent's resource ID should go, which is problem number three. If your pool doesn't exist yet, then you don't have a resource ID to put here, but that's actually okay, because we can fake it. Here's another one of my host pools in the same subscription, and that'll make it easier, as you'll see in a second. Click to copy the resource ID and then go back to policy and paste the value. Now all resource IDs in Azure are constructed the same way and it looks like this. Now when you break it down, you start off with the subscription ID, then the resource group name, then the provider, which is the API that you're talking to, and then the type of resource and the name of the resource. And since you copied the ID from a host pool in the same subscription, we only need to modify the resource group name and the particular host pool name. So after the word resource groups, just change the name to the group that you're deploying into. And then at the very end, change the name into your new host pool name. Then click next. Here in remediation, this is where things are found to be non-compliant to your policy and you need to make changes to those resources. And since we want Azure Policy to do this automatically, we need to create a managed ID with the proper rights. So check the box right over there, and then you wanna select the region where your resources will be provisioned. Here's where we can add a non-compliance message, which is going to make troubleshooting policies much easier, which means that the only thing to watch out for here is that your message is actually going to make sense to the person who's reading it. Something like, you forgot to add the CM resource parent tag. After you've typed your message, click the Review and Create button. Okay, now that the policy is assigned, let's go over to the AVD portal and then click to add a new host pool. Be sure to pick the same subscription and resource group that you applied your policy to. Then for the pool's name, be sure that you type exactly what you had in the policy. Select your host pool type as usual and then click Next. 
and you can skip past the virtual machine section and the workspace and the advanced section because we're just showing off the tag enforcement here. And before you add your tag, I want you to actually click next and this will go through the verification process and you should see a policy error, which proves that your policy enforcement is working. Now, click on the failure message and then over here you can see all of the details. And the build here was disallowed by policy and it has our custom message. You forgot to add the CM resource parent tag. So let's go back to tags and then add CM resource parent as the name and paste in the pool's resource ID. Then click the review button and now validation is successful and you can build your resources. I think you'd all agree that a better way to implement this parent tag would be if AVD as a service would just do it for you automatically and then you wouldn't need to do the policies at all. And if you like that idea, click the thumbs up so that I can share your feedback with the product team. If you want more on policies, give me some comments down below on what you're interested in. And over here is the resource parenting video that I promised you so you can see the real cost breakdown of any app in the cloud. Or if you want to know how to use Azure Policy to automatically add your parent tag to all of your child resources, click that video. Happy learning.